Hello guys, welcome to BDD with Cucumber interview question and answer set 1. In first set, I will cover 25 real time interview question and answer for BDD with Cucumber. What is TDD? TDD is nothing but the test driven development, which is an interactive development process. Each iteration starts with a set of tests written for a new piece of functionality. These tests are supposed to fail during the start of the iteration as there will be no application code corresponding to the test. In the next phase of iteration, application code is written with an intention to pass all the tests written earlier in the iteration. Once the application code is ready, test will be run. This will help in many ways. So user write the application code based on the test. This gives a fast environment for development and the generated application code turns out to be bug free. With each iteration, user write test and as a result, with each iteration, user get an automated regression pack. This turn out to be very helpful because with every iteration, user can be sure that earlier feature is working. This test serve as documentation of application behavior and reference for future iteration. So in TDD, first we develop the scenario, right? Though your application is not ready. So initial time, right, whenever you'll be running the test cases, your, your test case will be fail. But when application will be available, right, you can again run it and you can just tweaking the test cases to make them pass unless there is an any major defect or blockage is coming, right. In case any def defect is real, definitely you can lock the, those defects, right, in the any of the test management tool. It can be Rally, it can be Jira, it can be Azure, right, it can be HPLM, etc. So for each and every iteration, right, you will be getting some sort of test cases which has a baseline for your regression pack, right? And that can be executed in your next iteration to certify that your existing functionality is working and not breaking proper breaking. So that is all about the TDD. So what are the steps need to be followed during test development for TDD or test driven development? So first, all the test case will be written based on user requirement, they must create an automated test case. Then we need to carry out this automated test cases on the code that has been developed so far, right? In the third step, user must develop the code to make sure that the test case work as intended. If it is fail throughout the test step, then we will rerun the test case, right? Here, user must rerun the test cases to ensure that all of the previously developed test case has been, has been implemented properly or not, right? Then in the next step or the step five will modularize user code, right? So this is a step that can be skipped as well. However, refactoring user code to make it more readable and reusable is recommended. That is why each step might be necessary. Then in case you are having right additional test scenario, additional new functionality is coming, you need to repeat step one to five. So this is the final phase in the process. User must now repeat the process for the remaining test cases till all of the functionality or all of the test cases has been implemented. Then what is the BDD or the behavior driven development, right? So BDD is nothing but the behavior driven development. So BDD is, is an extension of TDD. Like in TDD, in BDD also, user write test first and add application code later. So BDD gives user an opportunity to create test script from both the developer and the customer perspective as well. So in the beginning, developer, project manager, QA, user acceptance tester, and the product owner, so, uh, right, all get together and brainstorm about which scenario should be passed in order to call this software or application as successful. This way, everyone will come up with the set of test scenario. So all the test script are written in simple English language. So it serves the purpose of documentation also. So in BDD, right, so not only tester can interact, right, all the stakeholders, it can be developer, it can be product owner, it can be scrum master, right, it can be project manager, 
it can be other tester right or oh, acceptance tester. everybody can interact and they can brainstorm and they can find right what is the critical uh, path happy path and they can document them right as a scenario so that everyone can be right familiar what the objective of the testing is all about so that is the main objective of BDD then what are the basic difference between TDD and BDD so TDD is a method of developing software that is driven by trace this means that developer must first write the test cases before writing the code so TDD is nothing but acronyms for behavior driven development it is a behavior based development approach TDD tests are developed in a variety of programming language in it can be Java, .NET, Python, Ruby and other programming language whereas BDD right given when then step will be used to write BDD test cases in a human readable fashion non-technical people like product owners, scrum master or uh, business analyst they can also read and comprehend this test as well so TDD is a development methodology whereas BDD on the other hand is a collaborative methodology when a test fail user uh, when a test fail because the specified function does not exist TDD recommend writing the simple code possible to pass the test then reworking to remove duplication and so on creating an executable specification that fails because the feature is not available then writing the simple code possible to make the spec pass in BDD this process is repeated until a release candidate is ready to be delivered right so this is the another difference the test cases are written by the developer in TDD user or tester write automated specification in BDD which are then wired to the code under test by developers because TDD tests are written in specific programming language they are difficult to interpret by non-programmer so that is the one drawback of the TDD whereas non-programmer can read BDD tests since they are written in human readable format or Jarkin's plain simple English based language <coughs> what are the key features of BDD so if you just refer the diagram you could see first is we need to describe the behavior then you need to write down the definition once the definition is designed right will run and fail it because initial time there will be no code right so we will be failing it or maybe minimal code is there after that we will write the code to make the test case pass and then we will rerun the test case and pass it so that is the complete cycles of the BDD so what are the key features so it is shifting from thinking in test to thinking in behavior so here everything will be driven by the behavior collaboration between business stakeholder business analyst QA team developer product owner scrub master everyone right it driven by business value it extends test driven development by utilizing natural language that non-technical stakeholder can easily understand BGD framework such as cucumber or GA behave are enabler acting as a bridge between business and technical language BGD is popular and can utilize for unit test cases and for UI test cases as well. The scenario are written based on the expected behavior of the software and it is tested to check if matches said scenario or not. The scenario are documented using a domain specific language such as Jargon. Each, in each test scenario natural language construct constituting small English like phrase are used to describe the behavior and the expected outcome of the application. This is done using a dedicated software tool like Cucumber which allows the execution of automated acceptance tests written in Jargon. So that are the key features of BDD. Then what is Cucumber? <coughs> so BDD is a framework whereas Cucumber is a tool. Please be remember these two lines, right? BDD, TDD, right? data driven framework, hybrid framework, keyword driven framework, modular framework, all are the framework whereas like the tool is uh, the Cucumber, JBHAB, all of the tool which is supporting the BDD framework right so a cucumber is a tool based on behavior driven development framework which is used to write acceptance tests for especially web application it allows automation of functional validation in easily readable and understandable format to business analyst developer tester right product owner scrum master all this stuff testers use cucumber to create test cases for evaluating programming be program behavior it is an important tool to automate acceptance test 
written in logical language that customer can easily understand. It's primarily used to develop acceptance test for web apps based for their features behavior. Cucumber features file can serve as good document for all. There may, may be many other tools like JBEB which also support BDD framework. Initially Cucumber was implemented in Ruby and then extended to the Java framework. Both the tools support native JUnit. Cucumber reads the code written in plain text or jerky language in the features file. It finds the exact match of step in the step definition file. The piece of code to be executed can be different software framework like Selenium, Ruby on Rail, etc. Not every BDD framework tool support every tool, please remember. So Cucumber supports over a dozen of different software platform like Ruby on Rail, Selenium, Pico Container, Spring Framework, OATR, etc. <coughs> what are the key advantage of Cucumber over other tools? So there are so many tools available in the market, right? But still Cucumber is very popular. Because nowadays VDD framework is very popular because everyone can interact, right? Everyone can contribute, everyone can brainstorm. After that, everyone can make a solution, right? So that can be implemented easily with the help of VDD and Cucumber. So Cucumber supports different languages like Java, .NET and Ruby. It acts as a bridge between business and technical language. We can accomplish this by creating a test case in plain and simple English text only. It allows the test script to be written without knowledge of any code. It allows the involvement of non-programmer as well. It serves the purpose of end-to-end -end test framework unlike other tools. Due to simple test script architecture, Cucumber provides cost code reusability. And definitely, it can be integrated with Selenium and other testing framework, right, JUnit or the test engine. So JUnit and test engine both are framework. So JUnit primarily used by the developer, where test engine primarily used by the tester. But there is no restriction. JUnit and test engine can be used by the test tester as well in the Cucumber tools, or in the with the BDD framework. What are the key benefit of Cucumber? Cucumber helps to bridge any understanding gap between business stakeholder and the developer. Some of the benefit of using BDD are listed below. Since all the team member and the stakeholder contribute to the project development, it ensures maximum testing coverage. Since the tests are designed in plain text, there is proper understanding and knowledge over the business requirement. Tools, test tools like Cucumber and Splakeflow in behavior driven development help to automate different kind of scenario. Behavior driven development helps to achieve reusability of code to a large extent. Data parameterization can easily be can easily implemented in BDD as well. Behavior driven development allows easy integration with continuous integration tool like Jenkins. What language is used by the Cucumber? So I already mentioned Jarkin language is used. So Jarkin is the language that is used by the Cucumber tool. It is a simple English representation of the application behavior. Jarkin language use several keywords to describe the behavior of application such as features, scenarios, you know, the outline, right, example, given, when, then, and, but, etc. Along with the background. Why we use Cucumber with Selenium? So Cucumber and Selenium are two widely used testing framework and technologies. Selenium is widely used for functional testing in many organizations. These companies use Cucumber in conjunction with Selenium because Cucumber makes the application flow easier to read and comprehend. The most important advantage of combining Cucumber and Selenium is that it allows developer to build test case in simple feature file that managers, non-technical stakeholder, business analyst can understand. It allows user to develop test in Jorkin based language which is a human readable programming language. Then Java, .NET, PHP, Python, PAL and other programming languages are supported by Selenium Cucumber framework as well. In which language is Cucumber software written? So Cucumber software is written in Ruby programming language. So initially that is the reason it was supported by Ruby but nowadays it is supported by .NET or Java language. What is the difference between Cucumber, JBA and Spec Flow? 
Okay, so Cucumber is a Ruby based framework, JVM is a Java based framework, whereas Specflow is a .NET based framework, right? So in case you want to uh, uh, write implement something in the .NET framework, then you need to use Specflow. Whereas for Java, you need, can use JVA for Ruby based framework, you can use Cucumber. Right, what are the different framework that can be integrated with the Cucumber easily? JUnit and TestUnit, these are the two framework which can be integrated with Cucumber easily. What are the different build management tools that can be integrated with the Cucumber easily? These are nothing but the Maven and the Gradle tool for the build management. What are the different popular BDD testing tools available in the market? It's Cucumber, JBF and the Specflow. So Cucumber, Ruby based framework, JBF, Java based framework, Specflow, .NET based framework. What are the basic prerequisites that users should consider while building a Selenium Cucumber automation application? So users should consider the power point I have mentioned below before building a Selenium Cucumber automation application. They need to determine the type of application user will be testing. It can be web application, it can be desktop application, it can be Windows based application, it can be mobile application like that. Then you need to understand that is there a need for backend testing as well like database or SDK for example. It must include a report that allows user to track down a problem with minimal effort. It must be able to generate parameterization test automatically. Any setup related settings or global attributes should be defined at the config level. To segregate the functionality, use abstraction at every level. So that easily, right? We can definitely, I mean, distinguish the functionality. And in case any problem, right, we can debug it easily. We can go to the relevant file. So that is the one of the another prerequisite you should consider while building the Selenium Cucumber Automation Framework. What is the test framework? So a framework is an entity that binds several modules in a logical sequence to cover the end-to-end -end flow of an application. The objective of investing in a framework is to test a product that has a recurring roadmap, roadmap and a regular release cycle. Then what are the key advantage of a test framework or any test framework? Right, so this is the basic advantages I have tried to depict here in the PPT. So any framework will reduce the complexity of using a variety of technologies, right, inculcated in a product. The framework or test framework organizes the unit and functional testing effort of a developer and tester. It provides early feedback on the quality of the code. It helps in tracking test coverage as well as code coverage. It results in easy debugging and then it reduces the chances of error. What is Jarkins? Jarkin is a set of grammar rule that make plain text start structured enough for Cucumber to understand. So Jarkin serves multiple purposes, am unambiguous acceptable specification, automated testing using Cucumber, document how the system actually behaves. So this is the different thing, right, Jarkin serves, Jarkin serves. What are the basic requirement to run Cucumber web test cases? User need to need the following minimum requirement to successfully run a Cucumber test cases. First thing, they need to make sure that right Java has been installed in the system, right, along with the JDK and JRE. So the compiler and the development kit for the programming language will be using, right, example JDK or JRE for using Java as our programming language. Then any kind of ID should be there, right, it can be Eclipse, it can be other, right. So an ID or which is nothing but the integrated development environment wherein user can write their code, example Eclipse. Then they need to compile the code, right? So they need some build uh, dependency related tools. So build tools to do tasks such as compiling the code, packaging the code to a jar, creating the source code, right? So these are the another requirement. So you can use either Gradle or Maven there. What are difference between Selenium and Cucumber? So Selenium and Cucumber both are open source testing tool and used for used for non-functional testing. However, there are distinctions between them. So Cucumber is a behavior de development automation tool that may be used along with Selenium, whereas Selenium is a web browser automation tool for web project or API. Cucumber primarily used for acceptance testing, whereas Selenium is used for the automated UI testing. 
technical teams like programmers, SDAT, Faber Selenium, where are non technical teams like business analyst, product owner, scrum master, often choose Cucumber. Cucumber is not required for Selenium to work. Cucumber's step definition <coughs> implementation is based on Selenium or API. The script creation with Selenium is complicated, whereas Cucumber is straightforward. So that is the basic difference between Selenium and Cucumber. So how to start, write the project creation, the framework creation with the help of BD and Cucumber? So you need to follow some simple steps. First thing is that you need to download and install Java platform on your machine. It can be desktop or laptop. Then you need to download and install Eclipse ID. After that, you need to download Cucumber Eclipse plugin. How can you do that? In the Eclipse, you need to go to the help, install new software, and that is the URL. You need to paste it there, and after that, you need to press enter. So, HTTP cucumber.github.co.cucumber eclipse as updates have been signed. So, user will, once you hit the enter button, you will sign a checkbox called cucumber eclipse plugin. You need to select that checkbox. After that, you need to click next, next, and you need to accept the license term. After that, you need to click on finish so that it will be installed. And once it is installed, right, you need to restart your eclipse. And so, the, as a part of your fourth step, right, you need to create a Maven project in the eclipse. So once the Maven project is created, right, you already know there's a pom.xml file in the Maven project where we need to add all the dependency. And once we add all the dependency, right, and, and we save buttons immediately, all the relevant jar file will be added to your project. So that is the important benefit of the Maven here, right? So you need to open the pom.xml file in Eclipse, and you need to build, add the below dependency after navigating to the Maven repository hold, uh, main page, right? So the Cucumber Java, Cucumber Core, and Cucumber J unit. So you need to install it for the uh, mm, io.cucumber because io.cucumber is the new version and info.cuc is the older one. So you cannot use so while uh, kind of in, uh, kind of adding the dependency for all this stuff. However, user can run both io.cucumber and info.cuc. They need to go with the version io.cucumber as its artifact ID. What are the files needed in a Cucumber framework? So whenever you will be creating the first project, right? First thing is that you will be uh, uh, create, uh, adding all the de relevant details for the Java. You will be installing one of the any of the uh, like uh, uh, ID tool. It can be Eclipse. After that, you need to add all the dependency, right? After that, you will first you need to create a features file where you will be design, de designing all your uh, scenario, features, steps, all the thing, right? Given when then condition, and then you need to uh, define all the undefined step in the step definition class. After that, you need to create a test runner class where you will be uh, right adding the different thing for your steps or the glue, and you will be running it so that automatically all the test case whatever has been written, right? It can be executed successfully. So three files are required to execute cucumber test scenario which are mentioned below. The first one is the feature file. The feature file has an extension of dot features. It has single or multiple test scenario based on plain text. This test are written uh, with keyword like then, when, backgrounds, in an outline feature, and but, and so on. Thus, it is a file that maintains the feature and the description. Then the next one is step definition file. This file has an extension of Java. It is basically provide the mapping of the Test scenario steps described in the uh, features file to the automated automation code. Thus, when Cucumber helps a step described in the features file, it searches the step definition file and executes the relevant function that are mapped to that step. Then the last one is the test runner class. So this file has an extension of .java again. It links the test definition and the features file. It gives the user the option to execute one or more uh, than one features file at the same time. It has the path of the steps definition file and the feature file. Then what is features file? So features file contain a high level description of the test scenario in a simple uh, language. It is also known as Jarkin language. In say, it is uh, it's a plain English text language. A features file may include multiple scenario uh, within the same files. A feature file has the extension called dot features. Feature file consists of the following comprehensive like, right? The features, scenario, scenario outline, given, when, then, add, background, on, uh, and, or like that, right? 
so features describe the current uh, uh, test script which has to be executed scenario it is the steps and expected outcome for a specific test cases scenario outline is nothing but the scenario can be executed for multiple sets of data using scenario outline given is nothing but the precondition of the test whenever you are creating any scenario or test right the when is nothing but the actual step to reproduce to navigate to the particular uh, requirement and then is nothing but the outcome of the test result successful right once it is successful test are successful then what are the different keyword used in features file the different keyword used in features file are feature background scenarios in the outline given when then and but etc the keyword used to represent the feature in a feature file is called behavior the feature file should be mentioned with a brief description to ensure the best practice standard a features is the name of the feature that is under test description is about the feature under test scenario is about what the test scenario is given is prerequisite before the test step when executed when a specific condition that matches in order to execute the next step then it is about what happened if the condition in uh, when it satisfied so that are the different 25 set of question and answer i have tried to cover today so that's all from today's session thank you